and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really neat do-it-yourself. Um, I um, it's a do-it-yourself lip uh, lip and cheek stain. Um, it turned out really good, so I wanted to share it with you. And last night, um, I also made my own homemade stick deodorant. I had um. The recipe was just enough that I had, I kept my empty, one of my empty secret deodorant um, containers, and I fill the recipe was just enough to fill the secret deodorant container to the top, um, and that turned out really, um, really good as well. So if you are interested in knowing how to do a homemade stick deodorant let me know in the comments and I will surely post that video but I really wanted to share the do-it-yourself uh, lip and cheek stain because it's very simple it's quality and it's not $40 or however much they're charging now for the Benetint um, so let me get to it it's just three ingredients, um, it, some glycerin, food coloring, and I used fractionated coconut oil, um, because I didn't want to use coconut oil, and then it hard, like, it, it hardened, and then fractionated coconut oil will not harden under any circumstances, so that's the difference, uh, between them two. So what I did is I took this little container, which has the leftover of my lip and cheek stain in it. I took this little container, and the first thing you do is just start um, mix you, with a toothpick. Start mixing glycerin and food coloring until you get the color that you want. Um, I was going for a lighter pink color. So what I would do is I would add some glycerin, two drops of red, mix it with the toothpick, some more glycerin, two more drops of red until I got the consi um, consistency that I wanted and the amount that I wanted. And I would stop every so often and swatch it on the back of my hand until I got it to the color that I wanted. And then I... um. Then you take a bottle, you fill it most of the way with the glycerin and food coloring concoction, and then you top it the bottle off with the fractionated coconut oil because the fractionated coconut oil will um, provide moisture and nourishment for your uh, lips and cheeks as well. So it's not a drying formula or anything of that nature. And if you want it to go completely organic, um, a lot of people will use beetroot powder or beetroot food coloring. But I used what I had on hand at the time, and that was just regular food coloring. So I wasn't really worried about it being completely organic. Um, and then I, once I had it mixed it, like while, uh, um, what the bottle that I mi mixed it all in and topped off with the fractionated coconut oil, I had an empty, um, origin, one of my empty origin silk gloss containers were still, was still sanitizing during that time, which is why I didn't put it directly in here. That's why I have a little bit left over in this container. Um, and it's actually, this, it, it, uh, you can use it right away, you know, you, oh, you shake it, like, after you have all the ingredients together, make sure you shake it real good so everything gets combined. Um, you can, and you can use it right away, it doesn't have to sit, set, anything of that nature, and, um, a lot of my videos, you know, I, I tell you how I layer my blush. I always use a cream or liquid blush first and then the powder on top because it makes the longevity of the powder blush a lot longer than it would be without the um, 
layering. So this is actually, um, instead of a, the look, uh, cream or liquid blush, I used this as the base blush to put my powder over. On top of that, I have the um, Studio Makeup Luminous Blush that we got in BoxyCharm this month. Um, so I'll, I'll swatch it for you. I'll swatch it out of the extra container for you. It turned out really, really good. And I, I couldn't, and I, I, because I put, tried it on my lips before I got in the shower. Like, I don't know if you can say, let me swatch it from here. I tried it on my lips before I got in the shower, and it went on my lips really well. Um, and it came off quite easily, but then again, I didn't, um, I took it off pretty quickly because I wanted to get in the shower, but, I mean, it was on long enough to set a little bit, and it came off with just some, um, missile or water. So, I don't think this was the best. I don't see if you can tell the color. I know it looks like real watery and separated right now because I didn't shake it, but it doesn't, it really doesn't come out like that. Like, say, like, uh, it's really sheer. Like, so, uh, I let, I chose to make it sheer. Like, you can make it if you want it intense. You can make it intense. You can use any color you want. You can mix colors. You can make it as dark as you want. I preferred a really light one since I knew I'd be using it on my cheeks. And with my fair skin, I can't have, like, a really, um, dark color. See, like, it's such a pretty, like, pink, if you look at that. And it's like, and the color, like, the, the flush it gives my lips is so nice. You see that? So I, I should have left, I should have had a bare cheek to show, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. I'll put some in my cheek anyway so you can say, um, let me see. I'm going to have to use the top mirror here. Now I'm going to look like really, like, I'm going to have too much blush on my face. And you just blend it with your finger or a beauty blender sponge if you want. You see, it's very, very, she, like, it turned out great. It turned out exactly how I wanted it for me. Very, like a very, very... light pinkish red perfect for my um perfect for my skin to see like that's amazing looking it just turned out so good like it's a perfect color for i could wear this alone on my cheeks and i'd be happy with the look um and on, like when i put it on my lips it's such it's it's a little it's um it's like, it's like, not a little bit, just a little bit darker than, than what would be considered like a natural shade for me, which is perfect. So it's like, I, I, get, I still get a flush of color that's noticeable without being like overboard. So on days when I do like a really toned down makeup look, this is the perfect thing for that. Um, and I'll probably make a dark red like a darker red one like strictly for my lips because it really did go on well and it dried down and it stayed on real well like uh, I wait I waited long enough for I got in the shower for it to dry down and then I um I I drank some of my my hot tea that I just made and it didn't come off on the coffee cup um there's no transference and when I looked in the mirror my lips looked exactly as they did as when I first applied it. So, I, it's, and it's like such a surprisingly simple recipe. It's three ingredients that most people have in their home right now, with maybe the exception of the glycerin, if you're not an organic do-it-yourself type person, but you can get this so easily. Um, I got this really cheap off of Amazon, so 
<laughs> that's that. That's it for that. I mean, if you have any questions, um, you can leave them in the comments. I'll happily answer them. If you do try the recipe, um, let me know how it turns out for you and what. And I'd like to know, like, if you do, if anybody out there does try this, I really would like to know, like, what color you chose to do, and if you did a mixture of colors, how that turned out. Because the one thing I was scared, I'm not really good at like knowing, like, what color, like, what color will will um come of mixing two different colors so i was afraid to do that so leave that down in the comments for me i'd really appreciate it um it would that'll actually help me like if i see like a combination of colors that sounds like it would look good on me it's something you know i'd go and make it um and again if you are interested in knowing how to make the homemade stick deodorant let me know. I'll be more than happy to do a video on that. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Try it. If you're one of those people that fork out that ungodly amount of money f for the Benetton, you'll be so happy because this caught this. I mean, today this cost me nothing to make because I had the ingredients on hand. But if I went out and bought them all separately, it would still cost me a, less than a quarter of the price of a retail um, do it yourself lip and cheek stain. So, uh, um, again, like, just please let me know. And thank you for tuning in. And I really hope this turns out well for you. Have a good day.